In this video, we're going to look at finding the area of a sector. I'm going to start off with a circle. I'll have a center spot and a radius, and I'll put another radius like so. I've just created here a sector. This is the minor sector, and this is the major sector. If I drew a line across here, I would create a segment. In a later video, we will look at the area of a segment, but for now, we're looking at the area of a sector. I'm going to put on that this angle is going to be theta. Theta is going to be measured in radians, and this is going to be r, the radius. We can say that the area of the sector, when the angle is measured in radians, is one half r squared theta. So let's look at where this comes from. What I'm going to do is go back and look at an example in degrees. So if we put now radius on like so, and a radius like so, I'm going to say that this angle is going to be 60 degrees. So this is going to be 60 degrees. The radius is just going to be r. We know that the area of an entire circle is given as pi r squared. So if I wanted to find the area of this sector, that small portion, we would say that this is going to be 60 of the 360 degrees. We know that angles around a point sum to 360 degrees. Then we would multiply it by pi r squared. We could, of course, cancel that down. I'm not really interested in that, uh, but it just gives us an idea of what we're doing. So let's consider now if theta is measured in radians. We know that the portion of the circle we're going to have is theta over 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. Then we would multiply it by the area of the circle, which, of course, is pi r squared. We can see from this now that theta on here over 2 multiplied by r squared will give us the area as the pi's are going to cancel. So if I just cancel these off, pi will cancel here, pi will cancel there, and we can write this now, and I'll write it twice to show where this has come from. We can have theta over 2 r squared, or if we like, 1 half r squared theta. So that is where the formula comes from, and all we need to do is be able to simply plug the numbers in. So let's go ahead and look at an example. So if I had, now let's put this on, let's say that this right here, and we'll, let's, let's put it like that, let's have that on. And we'll say that this is going to be, and I'll say that this is going to be, uh, we'll go for two pi by three, so that's gonna be two pi by three, that's going to be, let's say this is going to be six centimeters. If I wanted to find the area of the minor sector just here, all I would say is that the area will be equal to one half multiplied by the radius squared, which is six squared, multiplied by theta, where theta is measured in radians. So that's what we're going to get. What's that going to give me? 12 pi, uh, 12 pi. So area is going to be equal to 12 pi, and that's going to be centimetres squared. The twos are going to cancel. 36 over 3 is 12, so we get 12 pi centimetres squared. If we wanted to give that to three significant figures, we could go ahead and do that. So 12 pi is going to be 37.699, and so on and so forth. So if you wanted to round it, you could. If we wanted to find the area of the larger sector, so this is going to be the major sector right here, all we'd need to do is simply now subtract this angle from 2 pi and then do exactly the same. So this angle right here, let's just put an arrow to it, this angle right here is going to be 4 pi by 3. So we would simply say now that it's going to be 4 pi by 3 multiplied by half multiplied by 6 squared. Or if you want, you can just subtract it from the complete area of a circle. Okay, let's uh, go on and look at some questions then. So in question 7, in part A, we're asked to find the area of the sector below. So let's go ahead and write the formula out. The area is going to be equal to, so A is equal to 1 half r squared theta. So let's look at this and the area is going to be equal to one half multiplied by the radius squared, which will be 6.8 squared, multiply 
by 10 pi by 17. And we'll give this the three significant figures. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we'll have then, we'll have 6.8 squared, and you can write this in the calculator any way you like, times by 10 pi, so 6.8 squared, times by 10 pi, and then we're going to have now 2 times by 17 in the denominator. So let's just put that in. That looks good. Loads of different ways of writing that. That's going to be 68 pi by 5 as an exact answer. And again, that would be in meters squared. Or we can say now that this is going to be 42.7. So this is 42.7 meters squared, correct to three significant figures. So nice and straightforward. That's all we needed to do. Okay, let's have a look at another one. In part B, we need to find the area of the major sector. So this has got an angle right here. So what we're looking at then is the area of the major. So this is the major. We've got now the angle of the minor. So all I'm going to do is simply substitute this in. And we're going to say now that the area. So the area is going to be 1 half r squared theta. So that's going to be equal to 1 half multiplied by 0 0.47 squared multiplied now by theta. So what we're looking at is this angle right the way around here. So this is going to be 2 pi minus for 1.53 radians. So let's go ahead and put this in. And again, different ways of putting it in. 0 0.5 times by 0 0.47 squared multiplied now by, we're going to have 2 pi, so 2 pi minus for 1.53, and this will give us the answer. So let's uh, check I've got all of that in correctly. So 1.53 is there, 0 0.47, so 0 0.5 multiplied by the radius squared, multiplied by the size of the angle. Well, the angle here is going to be 2 pi minus 1.53, and that gives me 0 0.5. 0.525 correct to three significant figures. So this is going to be now 0 0.525 and that will be meters squared and that's given to three significant figures. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well that's a small uh, a small number. Well if we just think about the area of the entire circle, the area of the entire circle is going to be pi multiplied by the radius squared, which is going to be pi times by 0 0.47 squared. So if we look at this now, so pi, so pi times by 0.47 squared, we can see that that, the whole thing is going to be 0 0.694. So that's nice and straightforward and that's what we would need to do. In later videos when we look at exam style questions we will do harder examples but for now all we need to do is be able to use one half r squared theta to find that and the, uh, the area of the sector.